Now, some of you may have heard that Legends of Runeterra, the game from Riot, based on their League of Legends license, is actually available now. Well, at least it's an open beta, so anybody can download it and play it. And if you've seen the rest of my channel, you know I play some games, predominantly Magic, which is also a digital card game. And I decided, why don't I download this? I don't play a lot of League of Legends these days, but I'm still a fan of Teamfight Tactics and figured, why not give it a shot? So, I decided to record myself playing so y'all can learn with me as I go through it. So we're going to go through the tutorial and play a few games, and you'll kind of just get my feelings as we go through it so we can learn together. Let's go for it. Alright, so I have no idea how many people are going to want to watch Legends of Runeterra. But this is also not my normal streaming time or night, so I figured, what the heck. I will check this game out. It's in clo open beta, I guess, because I was able to get access to it with no effort. Um, it looks like the viewers for this game are kind of spread out all over the place. There's a bunch of people with five or less, like a whole pile. And then there's a few in the like 30 to 80 range. And then there's like six to seven people that look like they have anywhere from 100 to 3,000. And I think those are probably long established, I would think, people in the Riot community. But maybe I'm wrong. But anyway, I literally tried not to read much of any of this on how to play this game. I have friends on Twitter who've been playing and I've been purposely trying to like dodge discussions because I thought it'd be a fun stream to get in and just like y'all watch me stumble around or even give me tips as it happens because I literally have no idea. I know it's based on the League of Legends character set, obviously, as are all the Riot games these days. You know, uh, obviously, I don't really care much for League of Legends. Hey, Soul Vixen. But I do enjoy uh, team fight tactics. So this is kind of in that same vein. But anyway, let's see. We'll, uh, my first deck. All right. This deck features... To my oh, okay. So I guess this is just the tutorial. Like, this is literally... I have no idea. Y'all are going to get to explore this with me. So this is a, a true first experience. I have no idea. Okay, so we just play now. We don't get to pick. That's weird. It says how to win attacking and champions, but it doesn't let you select. I guess it just takes you through the tutorial. Okay. So we get one card. Seems oh, easy enough. Champion is Garen. Uh, I'm assuming that's five attack, five defense, and five to play it. Don't know what the green dot is yet. It falls to me to stop this blustering malefactor. Okay. Also, is the volume up high enough that y'all can actually hear it? Because if not, I can turn it up so y'all can hear the vocals too as we learn. Okay. Oh, no. So you just get to play, Garen. Oh, because I guess I have six points, huh? Uh, nope. All right. I got the power and the health right. Uh, level up. Champions level up in different ways. Garen will level up after he strikes one enemy. All right. When you play a unit, it goes here. Fair enough. Wait. Who are you again? Okay. Let me see if I can turn it down just a little. Oh, well, the master volume's all the way up. Never mind. That'll probably help. I keep forgetting their game serve. Hey, Stellar Robin. A oh, Ronin. Sorry. How's it going? Uh, welcome. We're going to kind of stumble through this for the first time and see how it goes. Uh, you and your opponent go back and forth taking actions each round. It's now the opponent's turn. My action. Okay, you went first. You summon Garen. Your opponent passed. So you act again. Uh, okay, that's how much health we have. That makes sense. It looks like the little towers-ish. It's that shape. So that makes sense. Drag Garen to attack. Sure. Oh, that's cool. So it'll give you like a wide view piece of art. That's kind of neat. Oh, that's weird. So you don't know who your opponent actually wants to block you. 
Oh, wow. Okay, this is definitely going to be different. This is more... Well, I sort of want to say Yu-Gi-Oh style, but it's not even that. Because at least Yu-Gi-Oh, you, you could have like face-down defenders or whatever. This, you don't even know if your opponent uh -huh. wants to defend with Another anything. Another foe defeated. Hold up. I wasn't supposed to lose. I never lose. I will say, I mean, this is the tutorial, but it is pretty flashy, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so in the round, then what? We get to draw more cards? Yep. Oh, weird. So... I'm kind of not following where my points are to just play things. Ready yourself. We attack. I'm... I'm ready. Well, see, I just want to play with, uh, oh, crap, but with Sivir, with her spinner blade. That's all I want. Wait. All right, so the opponent doesn't have any, well, they might have a blocker. Um, charge? Okay, so now the opponent gets to decide if they want to block or something. Justice but I guess they don't triumphs. have it, and they're dead. Okay, reasonable enough. That's weird. That's not... Okay. So grab number one. Oh, I have no idea if there is a silver card. I'm just hoping. <laughs> uh, art style is cool, but this is a typical League of Legends art style. The tutorial's not quite clear. Like, it stepped me through the actions, but there wasn't an explanation to the actions. So, like when your opponent can and can't declare a character as a blocker, where my points are for playing each character. Like, some of those things kind of got left out there. Oh, that's cool. All right. So I guess even just going through the tutorial, you get some free cards. That's pretty sweet. All right, so now we're learning about defense and followers. All right, so we got a prom. Horos, what are you going to do? Cuddle me to death? <laughs> the mighty Poro. Uh, he's a follower, so unlike champions, followers can't level up. Fair enough. Even mighty Poro deserves mighty friend, like bro. Okay, so then I play Brom, so I have something I can block with. Uh, Brom levels up if he blocks. Fair. Makes sense. Oh, man, Sivir not being in the game. That already Horrible destroys half my fun. Alright. Stand behind Brom! <laughs> All right. Oh, so you put your blockers directly in front of who you want to block. Okay, that's kind of cool to know then. That was definitely not clear at the last part. So this is cool. And you get to see who your opponent has to block with. So that sort of changes things too. That's interesting. This was a fine block. Ah, this reminds me of when I carried Elnux over Iron Spike Mountain. <laughs> it was on a night so bad. Man, Brom's so full of it about how strong he is. It's pretty funny. Alright. Okay. So now what are we then, doing? Storm had cleared. And Farmer said. Oh, so no, he's still telling the story you. from from the last part. Alright. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, we march. Okay. So we. Oh, so they got one new card. We didn't get a new card. See, here's here's the interesting thing because of their layout. This allows itself to be put into a mobile format, right? Like I think. In the future, there will be a magic format you can play on mobile, but it's not going to be arena. Because you just have too many icons on the table at one time. Like, this actually... If you can't ever have more than 
three to five things across, it's going to be very easy to... Uh... You are safe with Brom. Turn this into an actual mobile setup. All right, we'll play all those and then we'll block. They got past me. Oh, oh very strong. The fighting is hungry work. You like Boros next? Oh, that was weird. So, like, wait. I don't even understand how I damaged the opponent. Oh, uh, yeah, tablet, sure. But I don't think it'll ever be on, like, phone mobile. Uh, Spider Queen, alright. I mean, like I said, so far the tutorial is very flashy. And I think I understand some of the base, like... I think I understand some of the basic concepts. Okay, here we go. Now they're going to talk about mana. All right, maybe this is where. Yeah, okay. This makes sense. All right, so I have a one mana spider. So I'll go ahead and play that. Hehehe. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Remember, you can only attack every other round. Okay. So, even if we have stuff to attack with... Okay, so our opponent technically would get to attack this round. Alright, what does the Spider Queen do? Start around, if you have three plus spiders, she levels up. Summon an attacking Spiderling. Uh, play Elise. All right. Mm, and then it's the opponent's good. turn. Plays a wrench bot, sure. So this is weird. Okay, so... I'm not really understanding, because it sounded... Or seemed to me like it would now be my opponent's turn, and they would get to attack here. Also weird that it was very peculiar that it made me put Elise into play first when it ultimately was going to let me attack with both. So that's a little strange. Alright. And she summons a spider to help you fight. So that's cool. Oh! So she summons a spider and you get to keep it. It's not even a thing till end of turn. That's cool. So that's pretty neat. The spider chick is actually pretty cool. I'm being a makes a bot. Or made two bots. What is this? Why technology, of course. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna play this. And one of these? Wait, not another point. Could I only play one card a turn? Oh, well that's unfortunate. Yeah, so so far the tutorial's not quite clear. Either that or it's very railroaded. Huh, weird. Just you wait. I have a new eater. All right, so I can't attack, but it's at the end of the round. So now it'll I be my turn to time attack. We wrap All right, so she leveled up. That's awesome. All right, so here it's just saying you're on your own. Do do your own thing. Alright, so I'll play this. And then... Opponent has some 2-2s, two so I'm actually not going to put our Spider Lady at risk. I'm probably just going to do this. Um, how many can we attack with? Can we get 4 Alright, it'll let us do 4. 
Can't do a fist, so we can do four across. All right, let's see what that looks like. Oh dear. Oh, an 05. What? Yeah, you should. It, it's very cool. Like I said, the tutorial, I don't... I can't speak highly of so far. It's reasonable. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems to be doing, like, the bare minimum, but it's not to evaluate. clear on a lot of its actions, which is the only thing I would, uh... If I were to give it a real gripe, that's probably what it would be. Alright. Unforeseen outcome. Um I can't play anything else, so I guess I just have to pass. Oh, okay, and you can see whose turn it is to attack by the little sword. Okay, that at least helps. Knowing that's pretty important. Oh, and your characters don't all heal up damage either. That's something I just noticed. So damage carries over. So that that's an important thing to know, actually. Uh, they have four right now. Oh, I guess I need to change this too for playing this game. I need to move my camera up a little higher. That wasn't. Uh, I need to go into stream elements and change that. Because that will definitely make this game harder to play. Uh, actually, you know, if I move my camera to the lower left, that probably works as well. Oh, a Lux card. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Go to my dashboard. I'll make a quick adjustment here so it makes more visual sense. Uh, go to my overlays. Let's edit this. And even if I bring this down, down. Let's actually just bring it up, because even putting it over here doesn't really affect much if I were to play magic with it up over here. So let's try that. I will save that for the time being. And we'll just see what that looks like. Uh, okay. I think that'll work. Let's save that and see what happens. Oh, now I gotta move my camera on my stream because that looks weird. Uh, boom. There we go. Now we're kind of mostly back in working order. And that should do what we need it to do, I think. Let's see if that solves the problem. Yeah, the art's great. I mean, if you're a big fan of the League of Legends style art, awesome. Like, and that's the thing, like I said, I don't even really care for League of Legends these days, but I enjoyed Teamfight Tactics, even though I'm not great at it. So, knowing that we're going to do a card game, I was kind of into it. Oh man, this tutorial's so slow. <laughs> for justice and all things bright. All right, so these must be the spell card. Yeah, all right. Spells are powerful cards and can turn into a battle or an entire match. First spells are the fastest spells in the game. They take effect immediately and don't count as taking an action. Neat, good to know. Cast a decisive action. Oh, so you just play it on the field? That's weird. Uh, what? This? Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, this definitely has a bit of a learning curve to it. Time for this candle to flicker out. We'll see about that. Yeah, since Enza, I hear you. This is not magic tonight. I am trying Legends of Rune Terra. Uh, to see if this is any good. Click anywhere outside of the zoom cards. Alright. So we'll attack with these. Uh, I don't... I mean, I don't know. I'm going to have to wait till we get into the full flow of a game with a normal deck to decide what I really think about it. Alright, so this... With a burst bell. Okay. Cool. Because, like I said, so far it's not the most intuitive as far as, like, when you play a spell, where it goes, you know, all that. <laughs> Alright, so he plays another defensive burst. Alright, gives himself a three attack. I have many feet. Um, but if I block Zed, we die, right? What if I... I don't have... Uh, give an ally a barrier. So can I just, like, do this? Wait, what the heck? So I give it to her, right? Why can I not do that? <laughs> Uh, see, this is what I'm saying. Like, it's a tutorial that, like, railroads you for no reason. Like, if the effect's gonna be the same, just like you Alright, this makes sense. Where you... Oh, there he is. Oh, so he switches spots. That's shifty. That's kind of cool. That's a neat ability to have. I dig it. Uh, then you're around up to three of your unspent mana becomes spell mana. All right, so you can play spells up Let's to three up. for your leftover mana. So I'm assuming it'll use that first if we try to cast a spell. So if we play play final strike, oh, so you can target things that aren't even in play. Well, all right then, I will gladly do that. If you're gonna let me. Seems weird, but all right. Darkness. Well, that's now a thing we know. Let's brighten up their day. Roll attack for six. Oh, so every time she attacks, she just makes it. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's a strong ability. This is a little wild. I don't know what I think about this. You're covered. Wait, can I not just Yeah, spend some of my mana. Give a barrier to a character. Cool, I have mana for that. And then we'll block here. This is my choice. And block I'll here. Since you. the characters won't die, I'm assuming, if I used everything correctly. <laughs> Alright, so we did that right. And then uh, we'll go ahead and cast that, I suppose. Actually here. And then we just wait. End the round. Opponent has one card left, but then we each draw one. Oh, what's this guy? Grant an ally, plus two, plus two. Woo! That's awesome. Uh, granted, we'll give it to this one, I guess. For the honor of my house. For justice and all Let's play all of our big guys. I guess we can play all four of them. Yeah, because we can play four across. Your tactic is to never give up. Yeah, you don't say. 
Okay. I'm kind of tickled that every Riot game has that kind of victory defeat big screen or whatever. That's kind of a huge deal they do. All right, so welcome to Prologue Road. Congratulations on completing the tutorial. You now have access to Prologue Road, which you'll progress down as you play games and complete quests. Remember to check back to collect your rewards. Okay, this is kind of typical Riot for their free-to-play stuff. You go through, you unlock things as you go along. So, uh, let's see. It says we've unlocked a new deck, so let's check that out. Fuse Ionian Subtlety and Stealth with Piltover and Zon's Inventive Power in this versatile starter deck. All right. But wait, there's more. Continue playing tutorials, level up your skills. Did we mention you get more rewards? All right, seems good. Um, I guess let's see what our collection looks like so far. So we have full decks with four champions, 40 cards. Um, I guess we don't really edit the deck yet as we wouldn't know what to do with it. So I'm gonna mostly leave that alone. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to try versus AI one time just to see, uh, is there a particular deck y'all want to see? Hey, Strictly Jess. Um, I don't know these three characters very well, so I have no idea what decks I actually possess. It's weird too, that they don't have like a title here right to say this is this type of deck well that's the thing i don't know like which of these i mean i guess i could look at them oh weird all right don't want to mess with that let's go to edit so we can even see just if any of them even have the lux card in them does this even say okay no jinx said uh, show unowned show oh okay I gotcha yeah I don't really know so that is okay so that's definitely a complaint is there's no quick way to see which characters are in these decks which is a little disappointing because if I wanted to play a preferred character like, this has Elise, Darius, uh, there's a couple more hiding in here somewhere, I'm assuming. Uh, nope. This one does not. So, like, because we were looking at this one a while ago. Oh, it had stats on it before. Oh, yeah, because it says four of six champions, but I only see two champions, so I don't know what the others are. I'm not really sure what that means here. <laughs> or maybe it's saying we're playing with multiples of these and maybe we have two of each of six champion slots. Maybe. Yeah, this, this is kind of the tough part. Like I said, it, the tutorial gave us the absolute basics, but it didn't really tell us anything else. So we're kind of flying blind a little bit. So I'm going to start with this, because this guy looks like a Warhammer character. And we're going to play that against the AI and see what happens. Because I have no clue, honestly. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so I can replace stuff. Um, I'm kind of okay with this. They're cheap, we can play them. No reason to really mess with it. Oh, that guy costs a lot. Oh, that just straight up kills a unit. Okay, that's good to know. Where's my axe? Oh, 3 2, but they can't block, so that's good. Good to know. Okay, ready. And it's interesting, too, because the way the game's set up, you just may not be incentivized to block to either preserve damage on a character 
or have that character come in later to finish something off. So that's going to take some interesting bit to figure out here. If an ally died, deal three to an enemy unit. Okay. Well, drain one from a unit. Drain one from a unit to summon a spider line. Okay, that's that's kind of sweet. Um. Well, let's do this. Uh, reporting in. Because I mean, we can't block anyway. Yeah, we skip blocking because we can't block. Okay, so now we have three. Oh, that was right on time. When another ally dies, deal one to the enemy nexus. Right, that's kind of cool, I guess. Since we have a character that's free. pretty... Well, maybe have two dying here. Uh, we'll just put them all out there. We'll see what happens. No refunds. Yeah, see, and they lost life, but that was so subtle, it was kind of hard to see that it happened. Prepared for anything. Uh, alright, so, can we drain one from Timu? If this works the way we assume it works. Signing off! Hands off the merch! Oh, wait, what the heck? Why didn't I get to spend my other mana? Oh, something's going on. I obviously missed something somewhere. Oh, well, that unit can't block, obviously. I'm just going to get blocking. Uh, oh, I guess I messed up, because I could have blocked and then drained one, I guess. That's okay, we can do it next time. Uh, drain three from a unit. That's pretty savvy. Alright, this guy's gonna be a boss. <laughs> Let's make a deal. I kinda wanna spend this to drain one from my guy, just outright kill it. can't cast that at this time. Why not? Oh, I only have... Well, no, I have two mana. Oh, weird. If I fall, so be it. Okay, ready. Oh, I can put five across. Look at that. Well, see, we didn't learn that in the tutorial. <laughs> Maybe you need a closer look. Okay. Oh, does there trample? Is that what was going on there? Yeah, there's so many things I have to figure out here that are happening. It's it's hard to figure out what's really going on because they took some damage, and I'm assuming it was from trample, but it doesn't. They didn't say anywhere that that was a thing. Kill a damage unit. You can cast this again this round. What? So you can just off two damage things? That hardly seems fair. Hmm. Uh, I feel like there's not a lot to do here. I mean, this thing's kind of kind of wild, but probably not worth it. So. I'm just gonna pass. Brewing up some trouble. You must block get here. By these first. Oh, that can't block, actually. Hmm. One of us What's this dies. guy do? Quick attack. I guess that's like first strike. Uh. Hmm. 
You must get by these. I'm just gonna block here. All right. So do we just pass, I guess? Is how this is supposed to work? Alright. So, fresh offering. If three plus allies have died this round, view of summon a vile maw. Alright. Well, that won't be happening. Noxian strength! I mean, we'll just deal damage to that, I guess. You break it, you buy it. The timing of when it does stuff is a little weird too. I'm that's that's it. gonna really take oh, some getting used to on how some of these work in what order. Cause it definitely does not work as intuitively as one would think. Uh yeah, I'm just gonna kill that. I mean, I'm assuming it makes us confirm because opponents can respond, but that wasn't really shown in the tutorial that people can respond to things. So that's a little bit different. I can't cast a slow spell while other spells are being cast. Okay, fair enough. Okay, we'll make some spider things. Uh, we'll just block with the junk, I guess. Alright. I'm not sure. What is this doing every turn? It's just... Oh, maybe that's what that is. So this has Overwhelm. Maybe that's the equivalent to... Uh, overwhelm. Excess damage is dealt to the blockers, dealt to him. Okay, that makes sense. So this guy particularly has Trample. Yeah. I mean, I guess we have ways to stop things. It's kind of weird. I can kill an ally to draw two cards. That seems unnecessary at this stage. Okay, ready. If I fall, so fear. I mean it's a fast spell, so I guess it can do it during the attack step. But opponent dead. Okay, that's that's weird. So I mean we didn't lose to the AI in our first try. Oh and that experience actually gives us that too, so that's cool. Alright. So we unlocked a thing already? Alright, I guess there's a lot of rewards. So let's go to our reward window. We get a rare wild card. And the card is... Oh, that's weird. It didn't even tell us what the card was. It said, oh wait, is that just like a... Oh, it's a wild card. It's not an actual card. Never mind. Gotcha. These are actual cards. So this gives us fear innovation or brace yourself with the foot. So this gives us two copies of each of these. Because it says two cards. Oh, man. There's, there's a lot it's doing without giving you explanation. <laughs> You're kind of just assuming a lot of things as we go along here. Okay, what's what's in the store? Okay, we haven't earned any gold or anything. We have these 150 shards, but we just got those. So let's go back. Let's. Uh, what's an expedition? Oh, that's that's drafting. All right, let's wait on that. Let's play this one more time against a player this time and see what it's like. I'm assuming we're going to get crushed because our opponents have some built-up decks, but we'll see. 
If we can do even five damage to their Nexus, though, we'll reach the next reward plateau. Oh, they're playing the same starter deck. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we have emotes that we can wave to people? Look at that. That's cool. Uh, I'm going to replace this one. And probably this. Keep the other two. Oh, that was a mistake. Alright, well. Oh, man. We're going to get rocked. Where's my axe? We can't even play anything next turn. <laughs> Egg. Did it move? What does this guy do? Last press. So when he dies, he summons a spiderling. I'll All do right. better this time. So yeah, they might as well block with them. Oh, they didn't want to block. All right, weird. I mean, I guess it makes sense because we can't block. So if they just want some free damage, that's reasonable. Well, now we just got to get two more damage on the nexus, and we at least get our next reward. So that's kind of cool. Don't hate that. <laughs> the sound effects and stuff and the, the voiceovers they have built into a lot of this is kind of funny. Yeah, you definitely have to get used to the, to the pacing of the turns. So, like, where I had... I was able to spend one on the attack turn and then two on the defensive turn. Now it's three on the attack turn. So... That's very non-intuitive if you've played other card games. Uh, do you have to sign up for this? Or it's free to anyone, as far as I can tell. Um, Alright, I guess the opponent just doesn't have anything, so... We're just going to roll out a bunch of spiders, I guess. And we can't really cast much of anything else, so yeah, we're just going to attack. Uh, and you don't need a new account if you have any. I just used my regular uh, Riot account and it gave me credit. Okay, so we got at least five damage in on the Nexus. So even if we lose, we're okay here. So that's good. Uh, I don't have anything to target with that, so we'll pass. Alright, now we have four to spin, which doesn't help us. We'll have five on our turn, which is cool. And we may not want to block with our spiders because this pumps our other spiders. So we may do... Oh, well, this can't even block. So we kind of have to make a, a business decision here. What does this do? Uh, deal one to all enemy units. Heal three to a, your nexus. Oh, well, that's pretty poopy. Um, yeah. Okay, then. I guess we'll do this and at least raid. Oh, it hits even the ones on my bench? Oh, no. It hits all enemy. Well, that... Wait, okay. <laughs> well, golly, if we'd have known that. Oh, well, crap. Um, dang. Dang. Um, definitely didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> well, hmm. I'm going to go ahead and cast this on the enemy nexus. Mostly because it gets me close to Darius, putting the uh, Nexus at less than 10. And I should... Oh, I only have 5 this time. I thought I was going to be able to cast Darius. I can't. I can only cast spells that cost a lot. So, Spider it is. Yeah, I kind of got wrecked because he dealt 1 damage to all the stuff on my bench. I would have been able to do something with this other Spider, but not so much. Oh, is that like a secret? Summon 3 Spiderlings. Grant Spider. Oh gosh, his cards are way better than mine. 
They've obviously uh, built their deck a little bit. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, what do we want to do here? It's the opponent's turn, so we can at least play a spider. Round and round we go. Um, and we're blocking, so overwhelm only really works on your turn. All right, we'll play this. And they don't have any damage units we can attack. We can just outright kill a unit. What does this guy do? Uh, revive me at the start of the round and grant me plus one for each time I've died. That that seems pretty good. Um, all right, put that in front of there. We'll put this here and this here. I don't know if that's right or not, but that's what we're going with. Alright. Do I have anything relevant to do here? Don't have any damage units we can hit. We could just kill a unit, but he's just going to come back with a plus one, plus one. So that's... And that dying card, that's pretty slick. I'm just going to pass. I mean, if he has another one damage thing, he can kill my big spider queen lady thing. Arachnoid host. What is this about? Ugh. Kill the damage units. You can cast this again this round. Oh, yeah, I have one of those. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. It dies. Seems reasonable. All right, now we get to play something big, though I think my opponent's also going to get to play something big, so kind of have to be aware of that. I guess we play Darius. Mine is the hand of Noxus. And then we'll give Darius plus three to make sure he can. We already has overwhelm. It's weird, too, because there's not really, like, an indicator that's that clear when the opponent's just done. It's, like, waiting for you to have an action. Strength above all. The Legion waits. All right, let's see what happens. Alright, we got him to level up. That's cool. Oh, so he just goes to 13-4. That's it. Just gets real fat. Wait. So, he comes with extra stuff? Okay, that was the base card. Then when the Nexus has less than 10, he leveled up to that. Deals Darius's decimate. So how do I cast that? Or is that just something he just does? What's this do? Oh, it's just gonna outright kill a unit. Boo! Boo! Step away, coward. Did I skip a chance to play a creature while I was reading a card? Yeah, that's kind of tough. There's some spots where you can't... Oh, what the heck? Replace your hand with decimates. Oh, well... Alright, then. That seems fair. So, now we can just damage their... Nexus outright twice? That card's nuts. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, are they going to get to gain life on their Nexus? That's pretty funny. Hopefully it gives something overwhelm. We get to kill a unit. Sure. Does that change my cards? Nope. You won't get past me. So we did. We beat our first opponent. That's cool. We beat an AI opponent and we beat a real opponent with just the starter decks. And not totally knowing all the rules yet. <laughs> Okay, so we're up to 200 experience. That's cool. We got the Demolisher quest complete. Uh, play three cards that cost six mana. We need to do that one more time. We unlocked two things. And then we're 30% of the way to the vault. All right. So we'll go look at the rewards. And this is another epic bundle. This time just giving us one of a lot of things. Cythria the Bold. Uh, give other battling allies plus one plus one. And Fearsome. What's Fearsome? Oh, well, I was... Oh. Okay, so I didn't really get to click and even read the cards. That's a little disappointing. This is cool. The Ruination. All right. And then we get another bundle, which is, again, I'm assuming two of each of these cards. So kill unit with three or less power, phantom prankster, when ally dies, deal one to an enemy nexus. That's a good one. Reckless Trefarian, three, four, or five, four, but he can't block. That's cool. If an enemy died this round, deal three to an enemy unit. So what I'm thinking is my first deck I will try to build will probably be some creatures that can't block with things that give them overwhelm so they can like push through damage and then probably two or probably like one or two units just to back them up that can block but we'll see an outright rush deck is probably like the obvious first start for a lot of people i'd imagine uh okay so that wasn't bad I'm a little, I don't know. I don't know. You can have two cities in a deck. Really? Uh, let's take a look at this thing. All right, so this has, I guess, max is two. Yeah, so I guess this follows a lot of rules or some other stuff, but let's see. Hapless Aristocrats. So are we locked in? To just playing those two card types. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't really tell us anything as far as like deck building. I mean, let, let me go back and see if their tutorial has anything else. Let's see. Clash of Blades. Oh, so there's a lot more tutorials that it hasn't. Oh, wow. Okay. So it just does the first three and then tosses you in there. Or first four, I guess. Light and shadow back and forth, the best defense in first battle. Okay, so that one's play versus the AI. Then this one uh, for beginners and veterans. Your elusive allies can slip past enemies. Um, I'm not really sure what these tutorials are supposed to be. It just it says kind of like a skill level. But it just seems like these might just be challenges and not really explaining rules to you. Huh. Alright. So, that doesn't really help. So I kind of want to mess around with the deck a little bit. But the problem is, I'm not even sure at this point how we would search 
all of like the cards we would want. Okay, never mind. I I think I see what's happening here. I got it. I got it now. The this that I'm looking at is all the cards that are in our collection in these filtered types that are at the top. So I can filter by types. You can't really see it because it's behind my name on the screen. But like I can filter to class types, I guess. And then this screen that I'm scrolling through is all the cards I have available in those types. If they're already grayed out, that means we're using the max over here in the deck already. And then if we want to add these others, we can. So if you have a 5 plus power ally, kill all units with 4 or less power. So... I probably want this card. It seems pretty good. Especially if we get to play our other tactic. Uh, kill unit with three or less power. We probably want that. But then there's probably nothing else we want. So maybe we don't want to change much uh, in this deck right now until we get a few other things. And then if we show unowned, it shows us all the cards we can potentially get. So, all right. So that makes a little more sense as far as deck building. Wasn't the cleanest explanation, but now I get what we're looking at. That makes that makes a lot more sense now. So that's a little tough. All right, I think uh, I don't know how I feel about this yet. I'm gonna come back to it and give it a go, but it's a little it's a little different. I don't know. Let me see what we have in some of these other decks. Uh, so we do have a few more cards in these. Uh, elusive. Can only be blocked by an elusive. So that's kind of cool. Maybe build a deck that's uh, basically shadow creatures in magic. Where they can only be blocked by other creatures with the same ability. Or horsemanship, I guess. Uh, deal, one to deal one to enemy units. That's kind of a cool card. Uh, the Empyrean... 6-5, that's elusive. That's pretty sweet. What's this thing? Progress day. Draw three, then reduce their cost by one. All right. That's cool. Um, Yeah, so I think overall, the game's not bad. Uh, I think the pacing's a little slow, so you do have to get used to that. Um, I guess, would I recommend it? I would say if you are fans of the other properties that Riot makes, whether that's League of Legends, Team Fight Tactics, you know, I would say yes, because it definitely has the look, feel, aesthetic, has all the things you expect. I'm going to play one more game with just the deck as it is. Uh, oh, crap. I actually picked a different deck. Oh, well. <laughs> I will play with cards I don't know yet, so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I, I would recommend this in that regard. If you just wanted to play, like if you're a Magic player, like, I mean, because somebody's going to ask me, obviously, like, do I think this is better in Magic? How does it compare to Magic? Uh, uh, that's tough. I think Magic has more flexibility in deck building. Granted, that may come with time in this game so I'm not gonna say I can't ever I'm have it obviously here. but this is definitely gonna take a little bit of learning that is a weird looking Poro create a when I'm summoned create one handsome Poro from any region okay cool <laughs> we'll attack yeah it needs some better prompts to kind of tell you like this is the attack step. Do you wish to attack? Like that sort of thing. Because that is one thing I definitely feel like it's missing. Uh, when you cast a spell, grant the top ally in your deck. Plus one, plus one. Uh, ally and an enemy strike each other. Oh, okay. So that's like a fight card. Interesting. All right. We'll toss this down. Why not? What the hell is Challenger? Can choose which enemy blocks. Okay, that's 
Interesting. Uh, they just didn't attack, and it's my turn. Let us get going. I've survived ten total damage. Okay, if we can make Bronze survive ten damage somehow, he'll he'll level up, I guess. Is it the mustache? Who knows? Uh. I'll do my best. I mean, I guess since they have just small stuff, sword. we attack and see if something happens there. I don't know. Help is on the way. Alright. When I'm summoned, draw a unit with five power. This guy is challenger, so that's cool. Oh, Braun heals up? What the hell? Oh, well, that's how he gets his ability. So these little icons have a separate meaning, too. Oh, weird. Okay. Man, there is so much stuff to know that this thing just doesn't tell you. Uh, all right. Florence are born with plates in hand. Yeah, definitely, I agree. It's definitely more in the Hearthstone space from a strategic standpoint. Uh, I would say if you are a Hearthstone player, you will very likely appreciate this. Eat. Eat and grow strong. Grant Poro allies everywhere. Plus one, plus one. Alright. I mean, it's got cool little animations. It's got all the flavor you expect from a Riot game. Okay, so that's going to force something to block? Sure. Oh, okay, so if you attack with just one thing, it gets to declare somebody has to block. That's interesting. It's actually kind of a cool ability. Uh, yeah, I guess if we can just control how everybody's blocking, we might as well, right? It is good to see you. For justice, for Demacia. Oh man, this guy's a beast. Um, so I still have this. I can have an ally and an enemy strike each other. So, hmm. I'm for talking to. Against the Laurent, I demand satisfaction. Real battle. I mean, can I? How do I do the challenger? Wait. All right, that's how that works. All right, so I learned a thing. Oh, there was another challenger here. Dang it. Ugh, missed opportunity. Okay, I guess it's not the worst. Uh, then we will just end the round and we'll bank those two points, actually. I guess that's their thinking emote. Alright, I'm not sure how I like this card, but we'll see. I'm gonna have points to spend now a little bit, so there's that. Though these are two five fives. I mean that's that's kinda serious business. I mean like in a weird way I almost wanna play this and this against the opponent. Beauty in the play. And it I'm going to try something, because it looks like we can play things post-combat. So, possibly we could block this, then deal one to it, and then have two things fight, potentially? I think that's how that would work. So, I'm going to try it. I mean, there's nothing that really told me you can't do stuff after combat. So we'll just see. I don't know. We should be friends. You call this a fight? I mean, that's yeah. I was gonna say, pick something small, you get to fight, right? 
Whoa, I can't add? Oh, I was gonna say, you're gonna let me add more blockers? What? Uh, interesting. So you can't block something. Okay, okay. I gotcha. Okay, well the good part is this is gonna have now have survived 10 plus damage, so it should level up. Yep. Uh, when he survives damage, when he survives damage, you summon a pearl. All right. So, oh crap! I don't have anything that deals three. Dang it! I need to deal three to get kill that guy. Left for a snack? Uh, I guess we we'll just do this then. I was hoping when he leveled up, he'd get stronger, but he didn't. Uh, then what I might do... Actually, no, we're gonna do this. Got this. Fight. Hmm. Yeah. It's not really the way I wanted to do it, but it's fine. Oh no! Oh well, that's still enough to kill. Yeah, so that's fine. That was all the goal was. It is easy, see? What is this? Give an ally plus one plus one this round. All right. Uh, so here, this might make a difference. Let's summon this. Up there in the mountains! Ooh, alright. So, the Garen's actually pretty sweet to pick up here. So that's, that's a good pickup. Um. Hmm. Alright, let's just get some characters in play here. Harry, repost, you are toast. You gotta believe me! Uh, we want this one to block this. Uh -huh. And I want this to probably block here. Good luck. Have fun. So it prevents minimal damage. And then we'll just see what happens. Oh, you know what? I missed an upper. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't have had enough. I needed one more mana. I was thinking I could have killed that because I could have given this plus one plus one and then shot it for another, but that would not have been enough. Uh, I think. I think. Since he's just going to heal up, it's kind of a waste. We'll just end the round and bank those three. Because anything over three energy, you're not really doing any good banking it, so. But if you have three, that's the max you can do. All right, and now we're on defense here. But we do have all the creatures here, so this is kind of important. Uh, what's this guy? Overwhelm means a 5-5. Five, five. All right. Let's go ahead and play Garen. We fight for those who cannot. And I guess we'll go ahead and... Can I not have... Oh, I can't have more than that in my lane. Hmm. Interesting. This is Peculiar to note. So, man, this brawn's pretty good. Though their brawn's about to level up, too, here. Let's see. A battling... Ally strikes all battling enemies. That's interesting. Alright, that's pretty pretty sweet card. Pretty sweet card. Um yeah. That's just a thing. 
That's okay, I kind of needed a character to die here anyway. Oh, that did not work out well at all. Uh, hmm. All right. Soldiers, to me. What does Four Demacia do? Give allies plus three plus three for this round. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty sweet. Uh oh. Thanks for the follow there. Strictly Jess. Oh, you raided me. Oh, thank you. I didn't realize that was what's going on. So, uh, welcome. We are trying to learn this new game, Legends of Ruterra. Um, learning a little bit. Uh, not sure how much we're learning, but we are learning. <laughs> All right. So, what's this guy do? Uh, if I would die, level up instead. That's pretty cool. Uh, kind of want to give plus three, plus three to everybody. I think that's pretty cute. So let's... I mean, because we can't summon anybody else anyway until these characters die. So, you know, what the hell? Are these both bursts? No, that's a slow one. So we need to... Oh, we can't cast a spell during combat? What? Oh, no. Oh, no. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Oh, that sucks a whole bunch. Oh, man. Um. Oh, we just goofed up. Yeah, there's a lot of things here it doesn't really tell you. <laughs> you kind of have to learn as you go. You are safe with Brawl. Oh, see, this card has Challenger. Why wasn't I able to steal... Uh, that's annoying. Alright, I can at least put that here and save that character, I guess. But yeah, there's there's a lot of things in the tutorial that... The general concepts it teaches very well. But the particulars on, like, how to spend mana, when you can play cards, stuff like that. It doesn't really tell you a lot. So we've been guessing a bit to kind of get through it. But it's actually, for the most part, we're, we're working it out. Uh, now I know if a card's slow, it's basically like a sorcery in magic. You can only play it on your turn outside of the attack step. So that's a thing to know. Uh, yeah, I didn't have anything die there, so... And as far as I can tell, there's not a good way to... Can I just remove a character? Is there a way to just, like, throw something to the dump? Because, like, I wouldn't mind taking, like, my weakest character. Uh, I guess I can't. I don't know. That's a weird thing. Um... And I guess you can't have ever more than 13, so trying to cast. Yeah, the tutorial, like I said, was was fair, but not what I would call good. I mean, I think here the only thing I can do, since I can't play a character, unless I can figure out how to dump a character. Uh, there's no actions I can see that... let you dump a thing so that's probably something that it could use if i want to just get rid of a character off my bench and replace it but haven't seen my opponents do it either so it may not even be a thing you can do strategically so i'm just gonna give all my characters plus three plus three because that seems reasonable side guard seems kind of bonkers actually Especially if we were playing the aggro strategy with things that can't block. Like, that would be really good. Stuff with Overwhelm. Because then it's almost like Overrun. Let's show our friends the door. <laughs> this is fun, yes? Oh, I needed to use that on the attack. Oh, we're not attacking. We're on defense. Gosh all? dang it. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what I'm saying. The things aren't completely clear. I got to pay attention to where that little sword is. 
But I guess it's fine for the most part. We'll be okay. Uh, we'll just toss. No, 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 no. We'll toss Garen in front. Hold fast. And you can only block one to one. You can't gang block or anything, so that's kind of important to know. Frostbite, freeze an enemy. So what does that do? Oh, it just reduces my attack. Well, that's less than exciting. Ugh. Uh, so many things I need to learn. <laughs> yeah, we can't. Okay, we can play a six character, huh? Weird. Then I guess if we were to do anything, I guess we just play this. It was right on my tail. I mean, it doesn't do much because we can't actually put it into play, so that's a little weird. Stay resolute. All right, what's this? Grant a damage ally plus three plus three. All right, that's cool. That's burst, so we can at least use that. The problem is, I needed something to die so I could get this in play. This is nice because it at least gives the indicator when you're on the attack that something has overwhelm, which is nice. Because I kind of messed up and used that card last turn where I need to use it this turn, really. So, I'm going to go with this. I guess the Poro. Uh, this guy, because I can force something to block it. And, uh... I guess it doesn't really matter which one of these three threes I toss out there. Alright. Alright. And we'll attack. Probably. Oh, dang it. Did I not? Uh, I didn't get to pick. Uh, okay, so if you have something <laughs> with uh, Challenger, you have to bring them in and force them where you want them to block during the, I guess, what would be declaring your attacker step. Which is not the most intuitive thing, but it is a thing. Um, I'm gonna give this poor old guy some bonus action. I can't target that. Why not? Oh, it's only a damaged ally. Well, all right then. Might as well spend this mana somehow. Okay, I guess the opponent's dead. We must not I don't know what rally there. Oh, dang it. Alright, so this is weird because I've now won <laughs> three games. One against the AI, two against the opponents. And I'm kind of stumbling through and making mistakes. So I don't know if that means other people are learning and are also really bad right now. Or if just things I've carried over strategically from other card games is giving me a leg up here. I'm tempted to say, because I'm also, I'm not modifying these decks at all at this point. I'm just playing with them as they are. So I'm tempted to say that if you play other games, or other card games, at least Magic, I can't speak so much from Hearthstone. I've played some Hearthstone, but not extensively, that your skill possibly gives you a benefit I don't know if that's totally true but it feels like it I mean but to be fair I haven't played Hearthstone in like two years was probably the last time I logged on and even then like I went through a stretch where I pretty much logged on to Hearthstone long enough to like like when a set came out I'd spend like 20 bucks get some packs play their ladder thing for like a day or two and then that's it. And then I'd wait till the next set came out. I'd toss them 20 bucks, get some cards, play, you know, halfway up their ladder, and then I wouldn't play again. So I haven't been an extensive Hearthstone player at all. I mean, if I said total games of Hearthstones I've played, uh, maybe a few hundred. I mean, not that many, really, when you think about it. 
So like I said, I, I cannot speak from a Hearthstone perspective. From a Magic perspective, I've literally played probably hundreds of thousands uh, of games of Magic. All right, remove all text and keywords from a follower. That's cool. Will of Ionia, recall a unit. Neat. Give allies challenger this round. That's real cool. Uh, and then deny is just a counter spell. Stop a fast, slow, or a skill. Oh, interesting. It doesn't stop a burst spell, though. Hey, Thendon. Uh, I'm kind of stumbling my way through this uh, Legends of Rune Terra. Okay, so we got a common wild card. That's cool. Crimson Aristocrats. Deals one to an ally and granite plus two plus zero. Okay, so see, this sword is a type of card that could fit into the Overwhelm can't block strategy or whatever that I would consider playing. And then Scar Maiden Reaver is... Oh, so the, this just has the icons. See, this is the bad part because until you... This is like heals every turn. I don't remember what this icon is. And then this is when another ally survives damage. Granite plus one plus zero. And then Vlad is a hero. For each other attacking ally, deal one to it and one to an enemy nexus. Oh, that's crazy. So if you have stuff that gets benefit from dying, then you play Vlad and get more stuff. That's kind of cool. And if you had ally, if you've had ally, had six plus allies survive damage. Ah, that's a little difficult, actually. All right, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, so my early review of the game. Granted, this is after playing three games, going through their tutorial. I would say the tutorial's okay, not great. Uh, it still needs some work. It's not, it doesn't really explain the different abilities well. It should take you through a tutorial that explains all the different abilities and gives you more awareness on where stuff goes within each turn. Because there's a lot of times you're like, oh yeah, I could have done that, but I didn't realize I had the opportunity or whatever. So there needs, uh, there needs to also be just better uh, icons or markers to let you know like how stuff can happen, maybe highlight more things. It does at least give you the sword to tell you like this is the part of the turn where you're attacking, this is the part of the turn where your opponent's attacking, and that helps. But I think we still need more indicators. Uh, from a deck building standpoint, I eventually figured it out. But I think that could be more clear. Just like what's in your collection. What goes where. Um, otherwise, yeah, the game's okay. I think the game speed's a little bit slow. That may change as you build decks. So I'm not going to pass judgment on that too much. Till, uh, Actually, wait. I just noticed it has a thing down here called the Weekly Vault. What is this? Oh, so this is just once you get to, I guess, 1,000 experience. You get to crack some vaults. That's cool. And the quests are oh just play two champions get a thing all right those are your dailies uh so yeah i th i think as you build your decks it's possible the game speed picks up or as players just get more familiar but it does feel slower like it's it feels like it might be on pace with hearthstone but definitely slower than magic so there's that but yeah i think I don't think this is a magic replacement for me. I think it's just an additive for another game for me to play. I don't think, as far as ranking it among the offerings from Riot, I think it's, I like it more than League of Legends. I like it less than Teamfight Tactics, but all three are definitely distinctly different games. Like because you're good at one, you may not be good at another. So if somebody plays a lot of League of Legends, it has nothing to do with them being good at Runeterra or TFT. Like, just doesn't. But yeah, so I hope everybody enjoyed that. That was kind of a neat little experiment. It was fun to play through. I may do a couple more videos on my off days or something for people who want to learn more about the game. And y'all can kind of learn with me as I go. But uh, yeah, it was different.